Hey fellow homeschooling moms and dads, um, this is Tracy from HalloFameMoms.com um, with another requested review. Um, I'm actually combining a couple things here. Um, I was just recently asked to, to flip through um, the algebra book that uh, my, my son has been using and I actually owed this company a review a while back for one of their books. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember which volume it was, so I'm just going to make this, I'm going to do it all in one. Um, so, um, so maybe a couple years ago we started the Learn Math Fast book. Um, I, had, I had seen another homeschool mom talk about them, um, I believe, and that's how I think I Came across them. Um, we've tried different math. Uh, well, right now my son is, uh, I have um, uh, one finishing eighth grade and one finishing tenth grade. We've done some Saxon in the past. Um, we've done some different th different things. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you probably already know I'm an eclectic. Um, homeschooling mom, I use some of this, some of that. I don't follow the rules to a T. Um, kind of, I'm kind of a free spirit with some things. And I like to come up with, um, use my own ideas. Um, we'll change things um, sometimes. <clears throat> but so once I started on this Learn Math Fast system, I have both boys on it. Um, it's basically it's like six or seven books. I mean that's that's from um, I think that's like every, it's everything or the main thing. I, there might be something else they have. I can't remember for sure. But volume one, two, I think it's volume seven. <clears throat> the last two volumes, I think, are calculus and something else. I, I honestly, I'm not going to make my kids go that high if they don't want to. Um, but um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I like about this system. Now, I will tell you this. Um, neither of my boys is a great fan of math. And I don't know if they would be thrilled with anything that I gave them, you know. Um, and with me not being, math is not my gift, and, um, but my husband's way better um, at math. And so, you know, I have him help the boys out. But, so, the, I have the boys read the lesson themselves and do the work. Okay, I don't teach the lesson to them. Um, if I were better, you know, with, with the whole, with math, remembering the things that I had, some of the stuff I've not even had. Um, I mean, my level is barely elementary algebra. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I have a degree. I went to college, but I didn't go to college for math. Um, so, um, what was it going to say? Oh, but if, if I were to teach the lesson to the boys, uh, I think they would have a better time with this book, okay? Or probably with any of them. Any Thing to make your kids read the lesson and have to think their way through it. And so my kids, you know, they don't have a, they don't have a very heavy school load. Um, and I'm not a I'm not a big tester and that sort of thing. And so it's it's a nice challenge for them to do this. And then where they're stuck, their father can help them when he's home from work. So, um, one of the things I like about this book, first of all, I like that it's that it's it's basically they want everyone to start at the volume one because then you follow the process all the way through, so you don't miss a step. Okay, um, I still think I started. So they both boys were right around middle school, right around middle school when they started this. I believe I started one of the boys with the first book, and the, the older son, I think I just started him with volume two. So they have both um, either, um, I know my um, one son's finished volume five. He finished it last year. He's the younger son. And so we're just reviewing. And I'll get to this here in just a little bit. My older son, he's finishing volume five because I started him on Learn Math Fast later than the younger one. 
So um, let me just show you here. Let me just grab a book. So this is um, Algebra 1. Um, the books are just black and white. I'm going to do a little bit more of a closer look here. But, so they're, they're black and white pages. Um, you have your lesson. You have... Um, <clears throat> so, you know, like you'll have um, your table of contents. There are... Let's see. Talking about integer, integers, natural numbers, variables combining like terms, multiplying with exponents or exponents, um, prime factorization, distributive law of multiplication, square root of fraction, cube roots. Uh, let's see. There are 30, there, it looks like there's well, there's 36 lessons. And then you're, you have your answers in the back of this book. So I have my sons check their own work also. They check their work. I ask them how many did you get wrong or right. And so I hear about that. I, I want them to figure out how to work out the problem if they didn't know how to do it. So, um, let's see. Oh, quadratic equations are, are in here. Let's see here. There's a pre-algebra review test at the, at the beginning. Let's turn to a lesson. Ideally, you, you're, you shouldn't move on from one lesson to the next unless your child has mastered it. I don't require mastering at that point. If they've understood it and we move on, we move on. But um, like right now, my, um, my youngest, since he had finished Volume 5, we're, we're going through, um, I'm printing off, this is what I was going to tell you, I'll tell you now. Um, when you buy the book, you have access to the book, um, like the, I don't know if it's everything or if it's just the tests and quizzes, but they have, they have um, things that you can print right off. So you get the digital stuff, you can print it off, and then they can have extra work. So we're reviewing through those, those printables, okay? So then he can use his own book to check the lessons in that. So dividing expressions by a single term. So here's, here's, a, here's a lesson. And it's several pages long, too. And then, then like, here's a, here's a worksheet. His handwriting's not the best. <laughs> but he was in uh, seventh grade, maybe, when he did this. So, see, worksheet 11. I have him go back and uh, check his work. Now, one of the things I do here from my husband and from um, at least one of my boys is, is the complaint like some of the stuff's like, I'll never use it. Um, you know, I'll never use it. I've never used it or whatever. And you know what? That's fine. I, you just, you know, learn it because you're, this is what you have to learn right now. Learn it. You probably forget it. We forget a lot of the stuff that we learn in school. Let's just be realistic about it. Um, so, let's see, volume five. Yeah, so I know that, that I was asked to show volume five, algebra one. Since it is um, copyrighted, I can't show too much. But somebody wanted to see a flip through. So I, I showed you an example of, of, um, um, the, less, of the lesson in the worksheet. So worksheets, worksheet nine. Worksheet 11. I think there's a worksheet for every chapter. And then there's um, that's a test. Let me, let me go back here and look. Yeah, so you have um, you have chapter, you got lesson 1, 2, 3, 4, four and five of chapter one, then you have a review test. 
Okay, let me go to chapter one and see. I think chapter one. Yeah, so chapter one is really short, and then you have a worksheet. Then you have a worksheet. Then you have a worksheet two and a worksheet three after your lesson of the corresponding number. Worksheet four, lesson five, and a worksheet. Um, then you have a review test. And that's chapter one. Then you start chapter two. Um, and worksheet number six, that's lesson six. Lesson seven, worksheet seven. Another example of the worksheet. Um, lesson eight, worksheet. Lesson nine, several pages, worksheets. Lesson ten, worksheets. Lesson eleven, several pages. Then you have a worksheet. So it's like a one page worksheet. Chapter three review test is one one page for the review test. Uh, show you an example there. Okay. And then um, let's see. And then you have your, um, you know, like your answers in the back there. Final test. Let me see this here. So the final test is one, two, three. So it's like four pages for the final test at the end of the book. In your answers, it says the following pages contain the answers to every worksheet and test. Compare your answers to these answers to make sure you're getting all the problems correct. If you get stuck on a problem, use these answers to help you learn. So I hope that was helpful. Um, that was the Algebra 1. So um, I like it. I feel like it's... Um, you know, you don't have a lot of stuff that you've got to keep keep around and stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like this math right here. It's a, it's this book. This book. Now they do have um, they do have some things um, that there was a, some kind of a chart that I can't. I don't think we got the chart. Um, so definitely check out their website because they have some other things. I believe. Well, I know for a fact they have one or more other things that we just may not have. So. Um, it's learnmathfastbooks.com, and I will put a link down below so you can check it out, okay? All right, thanks for watching, and if, um, if you like the video, um, if you um, want to get my, know when my next video comes out, um, just remember to uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.